Greetings everyone, welcome back and uh, well today I'm going to bring a series taken from a different event I've been following the Intel Extreme Masters on the last couple of matches as you guys know and now I'm going to be going a bit back last couple of weeks and going to be focusing on the best out of five taken from a big event the America vs Europe tournament that occurred yeah, a couple of weeks ago, it took several weeks to have all the matches done and um, was sponsored by SteelSeries and StarCraft2Source.com and uh, was a huge face-off, had most of the top players, 11 players on, on each side um, all of them top players from each of the servers, the North American server and the European and this is going to be a clash, as you guys already checked there on the chat between the Blue Terran Select, he's a Korean player that is living in North America, in the US for quite a while now he's a frequent flyer from the North American servers and the tournament scene member of Team Dignitas, very strong and consistent Terran player and he's going to be facing here against the Red Zerg Liquid Rat I'm sure that most of you already know Liquid Rat. Uh, Rat is a Dutch player. He already played professionally Brood War in the past. Even lived in Korea and tried his luck there. Then he had back into his country. And now he's there again with Team Liquid. Trying his best. See if he can actually uh, get better and show all his skill. He's a very strong Macro Zerg. And now staying with the OGS guys on the OGS house. He's just learning a lot. Evolving along with Huck and Haypro and Jinro. And uh, hopefully you're going to see more of Red soon enough on the GSL. He already had some appearances and did quite good. But I'm sure that Red will be able to do even better and more later on uh, in the future. So uh, focusing a bit on this match. Getting production tabs and the HP bars. As you can see. Select already trying to harass there. Red going hatch first and then the spawning pool. So taking a bit of risk here, keeping in mind that this is uh, close positions for the spawn. And I'm pretty sure that Select, yeah, there it is, the first Marines coming out and already sending a second SCV into Red's base. So Red needs to be aware that he might get bunker rush or something like that. And well, he has noticed this uh, drone here patrolling, making sure he's not going to place any bunkers on the bottom of his ramp and just wall him inside of his base would be a huge mess. Spawning pool getting close to be finished, still no defenses for Rat and meanwhile he's pulling a lot of drones out of the mineral line making sure that this couple of SCVs won't be able to establish any kind of forward bunker, any kind of early pressure and once again there's the patrol with the first marine advancing I think that Select had planned to have a bunker there but uh, I guess that Rat just defended it perfectly so now this marine is kind of alone getting surrounded by all, all of those drones it's gonna end up getting killed because because meanwhile the spawning pool is up and running and as you can see on the production tab there's already a roach warrant coming out hatchery finally finished incoming the first batch of zerglings they're gonna go straight into that marine and chew him down just eat that armor and all his flesh mm. look at them just running after him single mar single marine against single zergling and got killed splattered in the puddle of blood and now all the zerglings heading down straight into select's base with the reaper coming out kind of an interesting choice of units by select Reaper is useful, he can just jump all the ledges and might be uh, effective as a scouting unit for scouting purposes but I mean a single one? Mm. and I don't see mass Reapers for so long now I mean long long time ago I seen that uh, so I guess that uh, it's just gonna be used for scouting purposes taking a look, a peek at what's um, Red planning next he saw the roaches now so he knows there will be roaches roaming around and Select will have to work accordingly as you can see for now he went racks and now getting that command center almost finished and then a factory so um uh He's preparing his game to pick up his natural expo as well, so he's going to balance the econ game with rat. And uh, notice how Select is placing all of his buildings here on this straight line, making sure he's going to have some kind of a long wall there that will force uh, rat to go all the way around if he wants to attempt to get into a, a Select's main base. Meanwhile, that Reaper has been harassing the Zerglings. Keep in mind that that Reaper, if properly microed, will be able to kill several Zerglings. Only has two kills for now. Incoming the Roach, and well, against the Roach, it's a bit more troublesome, so I guess he's just gonna pull back and keep control on that Zelnaga Watchtower. Meanwhile, there it is, Command Center already finished. Select's gonna be working out of two bases soon enough, just preparing some worker transfer, I would say. While on Red side, He's already getting the lair tech, roach warren and spawning pool, pumping roaches and zerglings and working just fine on his natural expo. So econ wise, 
econ-wise that shows obviously a uh, rat is leading just for by a little bit he has a lot more harvesters by now but obviously select counts on his mules and the mules will help balancing the income while he establishes his second base as you can see for now still missing plenty of SCVs but soon enough he will have a nice um, a nice composition a nice mineral line and the income will boost all over through the roof uh, as you can see on select unit composition he's getting a a mix like a bio mix with some mech units for now single factory with the tech lab pumping some siege tanks already the siege tech researched while uh, um, red enters macro mode he's already going for his third base second expo while he just lets select establish his second base no worries and whoa Red is committed to a huge power game. Look at the amount of harvesters that he already has there. This Reaper is still roaming around being annoying, so uh, I guess that uh, Red might have um, this Reaper knocking on his door on this third base soon enough because he's just roaming around the entire map, making sure there's no uh, um, proxy stuff or any hidden base and um, f roaming around just jumping on the ledges and I think he's gonna go for that base right now and spot it. Here he goes. He's gonna jump the ledge. Hopefully Rat will have some kind of defense here. Single Roach will be enough. I mean, this uh, Reaper is so weak. And there it is. Spotted by Rat. I think he saw it there. Yeah, he did. He's moving and just pulling back. And in trade, Select spotted his third base. So Select knows he needs to keep playing the macro game or he's gonna be falling behind. Look at the difference already. 20 harvesters difference. Rat is just completely bonkers mad about micro game getting a lot of drones look at the amount that he already has on the mineral line of the third base that he just established impressive playing macro gaming here by uh, rat and now getting banelings also the baneling speed getting ready he's been spreading his creep as you can see just stretching it all the way down into select space probably trying to prepare some nice surround if uh, a select tries to advance with these units he will need this, those centrifugal hooks the zergling uh, the baneling speed i'm sorry and now getting a spire to back up his army so kind of an interesting and well mixed composition for rat 13 banelings queens a single roach for now and 13 zerglings uh, and he's going to be facing this against for siege tanks 16 marines and a single reaper interesting composition unit composition mixed for both sides they do have some counters there keep in mind that those siege tanks are quite effective against the banelings they can throw a blast and kill several banelings but uh, the banelings just chew away melt completely the faces of all of this marine so this will require some microing from select meanwhile here going mad go red go for a fourth hatchery a fourth base going completely bonkers on the macro game and if select doesn't do anything about it i mean he will pay this later on he will allow red to grow such a big army such a powerful army and also a method of renewing his army so fast that he won't be able to resist on the mid late game so hopefully red uh, um, i'm sorry select will start pulling ahead applying the pressure on red because as things are now this game is just going on red's favor econ game still ahead there's already some uh, uh, mutalisks flying around incoming oh, all the forces from red advancing into this big bulk of the units from select boom big explosions on those siege tanks select was able to pull most of his marines back so well micro there he lost all of his mech units but most of his marines survived so those baneling explosions actually blasted on the siege tanks but not really on the marines and the marines survived backed up by the medivacs they're going to get slowly healed up again and uh, i guess that select will have to bring some more reinforcements or else he's going to be in for a surprise there's already mutalists flying around going all the way through uh, select forces hopping into that main base and now applying pressure on the units getting built on the main base trying to destroy as much as possible already picked up a siege tank now killing several of those marines coming out of the racks and flying all over the main base of select and select needs to do something about that he needs some kind of defense there because i'm pretty sure that red will be uh, keeping mustering up reinforcing his army and his mutalisk wing and soon enough it will be such a big wing that if he doesn't have any defenses on his main base it's going to be messy okay meanwhile while this mutalist wings flies back and forth here a small group advancing from select into this fourth base of red and gonna destroy this hatchery there's nothing here defending it no chance whatsoever for red he lost his fourth base was just starting anyway so it's not going to be like a huge damage econ wise but um, 
he did lost the minerals that he invested there. A second face off here against another small incursion by uh, Select that is going to be completely chewed away and destroyed by this big group of Zerglings. All the Zerglings and Banelings advancing into the south side of the base from Select. Select is actually trying to pick up his third base, but it's quite uh, hard to defend. I think he doesn't have any defense at the moment. And the bulk of the forces from uh, 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 Red advancing into this natural axle, into the mineral line, Bailings exploding on the faces of those Marines and wreaking havoc on that uh, 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 SCV line, killing so many of the units there. Oh my god, it's over. That natural axle from uh, uh, Select, it's finished. Look at the mineral line, there's nothing left. And now what's left of those Zerlings trying to enter into the main base. There's an opening there, but they're focusing fire on the Siege Tank. Siege Tank trying to give a couple of blasts, but there's still plenty of Zerlings roaming around. And they're gonna go straight into this third base now, applying more pressure into a, a Select's build. And uh, there's uh, only a single command center here with an SCV. I mean, he's getting turned into a planetary fortress, but meanwhile, the Zerlings are just trying to grind down as much as possible and kill it. Finally, a group of Marines coming up and finishing off the forces from Rat. But, ooh, huge damage here on the Econ game. Still, uh, Select already pulling more, once again, more SCVs and mules into that mineral line. But look at the difference on the Harvester count. He's only resisting this match because he has the mules and the mules help him getting him back into the Econ game. Still is falling a bit behind and he needs to commit himself to some SCV production now or else... Red is going to keep building up his army and mustering up his forces and he's going to win this game basically by attrition, by uh, making a, a Select give up on it. Here coming another SCV, probably trying to establish some, um, some uh, forward base there, but uh, with that Zergling poking at it won't be easy. Meanwhile, a big Mutalisk Wing advancing into the main base of Select, once again destroying the, the air defense, those missile turrets, and splitting against all of those buildings. Big wing flying here. I guess that rat is just mustering up his muta uh, army way, way far uh, beyond uh, uh, Select's capabilities. Meanwhile, Select is going to have another clash here on the entrance of to the main base and natural expo of Red. Banelings incoming once again, surrounding that siege tank, exploding on the face of the siege tank. And now what's left of them trying to stalk this uh, marine group, but the marine group just pulled back into the natural expo and survived once again the mutilus advancing into the main base of um, of select, destroying all the add-ons, all those reactors attached to the barracks and finally the group from, from uh, select advancing and trying to defend but the damage is already done he lost several add-ons there that were attached to those racks at least a couple of reactors that I saw and the rat is going to keep harassing and flying around and applying uh, the pressure while he keeps macroing and sending his ground forces towards his opponent's bases keep in mind that the third base from select is still not stable as you can see he doesn't have any defenses here beside the planetary fortress and apparently rat is preparing a surprise move here uh oh a lot of banelings this not gonna be good. I think he's gonna clash all those banelings against that planetary fortress and just explode it to smithereens. Get ready, they're getting finished. I'm pretty sure that Red is gonna do something about it. He's just preparing all his units. Incoming! Guys, get ready for a massive blast. Oh, nice blast killing the first group. Oh, boom, killing all of those SCVs and exploding on the top of that uh, planetary fortress. And those Zerglings just finished it off. So there goes bye-bye third base for Select. And now Select needs to advance. He needs to break the macro game from, uh, um, from Rat. Look at him, already picking up a fifth base. All of his four bases are working just fine with plenty of drones. Once again, we're going to have here a short face-off. Just a couple of Zerglings passing there. And by having control on the Zelnaga watchtowers, I think he's ju he just spotted the advance of this small bulk here that uh, Select is um, advancing and mustering up. But look at the difference on the army count. 171 against 107. So I don't think that Select has what it takes. Let's see if he's able to fend off and face off against Rat's army. Rat getting some banelings produced there. They lost all of them. And now a big marine army. All of them steamed. Advancing into Rat's forces. Rat advancing. Uh, Select pulling back with all of his marines. A big surround with banelings. Oh! So many explosions melting away a big chunk of the forces from Select. Look at how, th how those Marines melt away so quickly. And now, 
what's left of the forces from uh, Select advancing into the natural expo of Red, killing a queen, now focusing fire on all of these overlords, making sure he's gonna get them supply locked. Still very far away, by the way, but plenty of marines trying to shoot down as much as possible here, while the Mutalist Queen is trying to advance on them. Oh, more Banelings melting all of those faces, all of that flash getting melted into a green puddle of ooze. Big, big, messy advance here by uh, a Select. Red finally f able to fend it off. He had some losses there, but as you can see, still 123 against 73. Almost double. Uh, this is not good. Select needs to commit himself to some expansion, some macro game, but I know how hard it is. I mean, especially when you have Red right on your face with all of this mutilists harassing you constantly. Red is just being completely obsessed about finishing off Select and end this first match of this best out of five. All the mutilists flying around, destroying what's left of the units that have been produced on the main base of Select. Meanwhile, this base, the main one, is completely exhausted. So we have um, Select working out of a single base, which is getting close to exhausted as well. And once again, he's attempting to establish his third base, while Red is just working fine out of all of these bases. This one is getting too exhausted, but they still have something like three bases that he can mine for. And as you can see, there's a huge difference on the Econ game. It's a show or a sign, obviously, of the playing with three bases against a single base, a single mineral line. And, well, uh, Select needs to keep expanding, but I don't think he's going to be able to. By this time, Red just has his game locked in, and he has so many Mutalists flying around for so long. Once again, Missile Turbot trying to get repaired by all of those SCVs. No chance, that's way too much DPS finishing off what's left of this main base. While the big bulk of the forces from uh, Red is getting here, getting masked up and ready to advance and finish off what's left of the Natural Expo from Select. Big surround with Zerglings trying to chew away as many uh, siege tanks as possible. Entering the Mineral Line once again. This is going to be the second time that the Mineral Line from Select is going to be completely destroyed. And ha Havoc ensues on the Mineral Line, backed up by that big Mutalisk army that is here on the back. And more Banelings advancing, finishing off what's left of uh, Select's forces. Look at him, he's even saving them, not exploding them into that mineral line, into those SCVs, and select force to GG. He didn't have anything else to do. Such a powerful macro game by Red. Whoa, I'm impressed. He was playing out of five bases with huge aggression. Notice how select was even trying a small drop here, but was just too little too late. And Red just dominated this game. The moment that uh, select allow him to breathe and allow him to establish his game, well, I guess that was the the moment that Select signed his death sentence, I guess. Well, game done. First game out of this best out of five with Red leading 1-0. I hope you guys enjoy this one. I'll be showing the following matches on the following days during this week. And uh, until I have the best out of five complete, obviously. Um, I see you all later, okay? Have fun.